Students and teachers headed to the football field. That former student is in the hand of police. WHS 11's L Smith has been there all afternoon long and L the big question remains was a gun ever discovered? Doug, no, a gun was not discovered, but LMPD and JCPS could not confirm nor deny that a gun was in the building in the first place. They said that's going to be a part of their investigation. But what we do know right now is this active aggressor was a former student who was now detained. He was found off campus. Now, this all started around 1 p.m. when Jefferson Town Police Department and LMPD were called on reports of an active aggressor, and the school immediately went into heightened security protocol. We talked to mothers who said their children were hiding behind their desks with the doors locked. The children were then evacuated to the football field. It wasn't until around 3 p.m. that students started being released and children told their parents despite there being no injuries, the entire situation was extremely scary. He said that he's just okay, but he's scared and he's like, Mom, I really don't want to go to school tomorrow. And I'm just like, that's fine. That's that's an appropriate response. It's scary. Of course, you're not going to want to go to school the next day. Now, Sabrina and other parents were frustrated at the rate at which JCPS was communicating information today. Sabrina herself did not receive any alerts, while other parents did get a text update from the school around 1:20, saying the school had been put into heightened security protocol, but all students were safe. But JCPS say they followed all of the necessary protocol and alerted parents when they could. When I say with our families, we needed to make sure that we were able to contact our families here at Jefferson Town High School first to let them know what was going on. Um, but more important than making sure we have this information as fast as we can, we want to make sure that we have the information correct to our families. Um, so we were working very quickly to make sure we had confirmed information that we could share with our families as soon as possible. Uh, and we were able to share that through text messages. Now, again, that aggressor has been detained, and again, there were no injuries. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Elle Smith.